<laughs> All right, you may have noticed several members of Team USA sporting some different kinds of Olympic rings in Rio. There are those round purple and red marks we've seen on their bodies, especially Michael <laughs> Phelps. They're a sure sign of cupping. So joining us right now to talk about the ancient medical practice is Dr. Ken Gray, a local holistic medicine expert. Dr. Gray, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Always I'm, great. I'm a little nervous. You they, should be. No. Just <laughs> they want me to try this cupping. We'll, no. We'll see. But first explain what is cupping and where did it start? It's, you know, it's thousands of years old. Uh, ancient Egyptians used it. You know, obviously it's part of traditional Chinese medicine. It's a phenomenal way to move blood and energy. Uh, qi, mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of people are familiar with that term now because of acupuncture. Yes. Is something that can get blocked as well as blood. Okay. Now, so when you have these blockages, it's very easy to sort of move with acupuncture, but also cupping is something that's widely used in the integrative medicine field. Okay. So, so you brought different examples yeah. with you. Yep. So kind of explain what's in front of us. This is kind of one of the oldest ones. I think they transitioned from bamboo at one point to glass and you use like a little cotton swab, you light it on fire, and that is simply used to suck the oxygen out. Okay. Right? So that, that's easy on that. But then you get some sort of modern views. This one incorporates a little magnet in there, oh. which is fun. I use this one, it's, it's very easy to access. Okay. And you use this to depress the air. So the technology right. on this is pretty simple, more modern. This is a little bit of do-it-yourself sometimes. You could be at home. Oh, okay. Do. This looks like nice Yeah, a little, little do-it-yourself, <laughs> right? Little, uh, so, and you could use it, obviously, as a practitioner. But it is only one tool in the toolbox of a, you know, holistic physician. So why would this help an Olympic athlete, say? Oh, so many ways. Well, you know, when you're so active as a, an athlete, you develop a lot of toxins, you develop a lot of blockages. So this can help move and release and pull tox toxins up into the surface of the skin, the largest organ of the body, mm -hmm. in order to basically help the body get rid of it faster. Okay. So it's a faster recovery time, better healing time, right? Uh, and also, you know, toxins can slow us down. Yeah. So it allows the body to really just move faster and heal faster. All yeah. right. Well, I am going to take one for the team. Okay. I will try this cupping technique yeah. and whichever one you choose, hopefully a smaller circle because yeah. I know this is going to last for a couple yeah. of days. Yeah. How long does this, the ring stay? It can be a few you know, days because it is proteins and toxins being dissipated through the, again, the largest organ of the body. So it's, it's, you know, it, it leaves you a little hickey. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what can All I right, say? I will let you, you know? give me a hickey. But we're on we're, my we're in not <laughs> exactly. We this is this is where it's coming from, right? All right, <laughs> so, what, should, what should I do? Just pull, hold my arm out? Oh, just relax. You know, the, relax. the first the first question I get asked by new patients, especially, is is this going to hurt? The reality is, is it's nowhere near as what people think. You know, it's it's just oh. a little suction, right? No, it's not bad at all. No, feels kind of weird. Yeah, it feels what, like an octopus. What I like to do for my patients that do have events. Before they come, they, they sometimes have events that they're going to go to the next weekend. I move it around. Uh -huh. This way you don't have a circle hickey. You just have like a movement and gotcha. maybe some redness. So It looks really gross though. Yeah, but you have to apply a little bit of oil to, or, you know, oh. or lotion to sort of give some glide. But this pulling suction sensation uh, is, is very necessary to pull those toxins. So also helps with pain relief. And if you think about it, it's one of the only therapies that does have a pulling well, everything is pushing, pushing and sliding. So this is one way to pull and release fascia. Fascia also, big, big deal in Olympics and fitness. They get tight and they get, you know, yeah. uh, constraints. So you, you can move and release and help uh, Feel everyone better. perform better. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Dr. Yeah. Gray, thank you so much for being thank here. You. That was really neat. Yeah. I appreciate <laughs> it. We'll be right back after the break.